Hello my dear YouTube family. My name is Barth and I welcome you to our channel Must Watch Tips. So today I'm going to show how to make this beautiful and amazing PowerPoint presentation where the text is behind the mountain and this is fully animated. And trust me, we can make this in just few steps. So I'll be showing you how to make this step by step. And now without any further talks, let's get into the video very quickly. So I'm here in the blank presentation and before we begin we need an high quality image of mountains. So you can directly go to your internet browser and search for mountains and I have downloaded this image from pixels.com. So this website provides uh, good quality images and as well as videos. So you can search directly here mountains and uh, you can choose these type of images where the background is uniform and there are less clouds available you can even choose this one so i've already downloaded that image in my system so i'll go to insert and i will insert that image so i will choose this one and click on insert we don't want this placeholder so i'll delete this and we can crop the image because we don't need this land And let me expand it like this so as you can see if i zoom in then the image is quite in good quality so make sure you have a good quality image now let me duplicate this slide by pressing ctrl d or command d and in the second slide i will select the image and let us remove the background so if you'll go to picture format then you have an option of removing the background so if i click on this uh, the ai automatically detects some of the images where the background gets removed but in some cases you can see that the ai cannot or the system cannot uh, able to detect and does not able to remove the background so here we have an option to uh, mark areas to keep and mark areas to remove so we can go to mark areas to keep and then i can select this border like this so that i i want to keep this much of portion as well as in this side so this is how your image will look i'll select keep changes and i will go to crop and i will crop the extra part like this so this is how your images looks like after removing the background so if you can remember that i've told you earlier that keep the images or select the images where the clouds are not visible only the plain background is there so this is why i've told you because if you select the images where clouds are there then the system won't be able to detect the that this is the background and you won't be able to do this step so now let me put this image right here now as we have completed removing this background then we don't want this first slide so we will delete this now for the background let us right click and go to format background let us choose gradient fill where we will three have the three colors or you can even choose two colors gradient now first shade will be the blue one so let us say we want to have this blue color and in the second shade let us take a color from this image So let us fix this color for background. Now let's go to insert and add a text box where we will write mountains and you can choose whatever text you want to add. Let's increase its size and this time let us take Bernard empty. I'll choose white color. And now as you can see we have two objects. So we will send this object to back like this. We have uh, mountains at the top and we have text box behind the mountains. Now let us duplicate this slide. So I'll press Ctrl D. And in the first slide, we will hide this uh, text box. Let us first reduce its size something like this. And now I will 
make sure that it is uh, hidden behind the mountains and in the second one I will increase the size of mountains a bit like this now the last step is to add a morph transition so I will select both of this slide go to transition and apply morph transition and let us say we want to have duration of one second and let us click on apply to all so now if I click on slideshow this is how it looks so I hope you like this video and have taken something from this video and before moving to the next video please hit the subscribe button and share it with your friends and now it's time to say you goodbye see you in the next video